that so what does this all have to do with we can movement? listen to him. So as I said, if you have the inflationary scenario taking place, there is this rocket fuel that permeates space-time. Once ignited, it cannot be turned off. So what you'll find is that in different parts of the universe, our universe, there could be other habitable planets. We know that there are other potentially habitable planets. We don't know if they're inhabited yet. Uh, perhaps David will talk about that from his uh, contacts. Um, <laughs> uh, but there could be universes far separated from what we can see within our local volume of the multiverse. And in fact, there could be infinite number of these universes throughout the, throughout the multiverse. And so that's quite exciting. So the question is, what can you do, to, what predictions can be made in a universe about the absence or presence of free will? So if there's 10 to the 500th universes, not 500, but a, a one with 500 zeros after it, that many universes, or perhaps infinite number of universes, then right now it's guaranteed that some other universe is having this exact conversation. Um, and so what does that mean for free will? So uh, if you're very perceptive, you'll notice these two pictures are not the same. There's good Andy and evil Andy. And you can, you can tell the difference between the two of them uh, from their evil red eyes. Um, so the question is, if there's an infinite number of yous, how do you know which you you are, quote unquote? So you feel like yourself, but if there's an infinite number of rooms just like this in an infinite universe, do you really have free will? What if they make their own choices? What if they don't make the same choices? Which one is worse, okay? And, and this is a very, very speculative thing, but it seems to be mandatory and very many physicists are taking this seriously and exploring it. And some say we're in the analogous position to right after Hubble uh, discovered the expansion of the universe. Okay, so could we make a definitive measurement and proof, if you will, of inflation, which would then prove the existence of the multiverse, or at least allow people to take it more seriously? So one way is through bicep and polar bear and other experiments. Another way is if you saw an actual collision of this